Summer is now here, so in this video we are going to talk about my favourite 10 things to do during the summer holidays. On the top of my list we have going on a beach holiday. I'm sure that you all enjoy going on holiday to the beach. To go to the pool, go to the beach, sunbathe and even trying new water sports. In England the weather isn't very hot during the year so it's nice to go abroad especially to places like Spain, Italy, the south of France or Turkey. They are particularly popular destinations for British tourists. My favourite activity to do on a beach holiday isn't actually sunbathing. I know that a lot of people like sunbathing and getting a tan, but I don't really enjoy it. I prefer to try out new water sports like diving, kayaking or paddle surfing for example. I think it is quite fun and you also learn a lot of new skills. My second favourite activity to do in the summer holidays is going to the mountains. In England, especially in the area where I live, there are quite a lot of mountains and the landscapes are truly beautiful. So I like taking a picnic, hiking and camping in these areas. It is nice to see the wildlife as well. My third favourite activity to do in the summer is attending music festivals or outdoor concerts. Summer is a very popular season for music festivals because of the good weather. In England there are quite a lot of festivals. The most famous ones are Glastonbury, Reading and Leeds festivals. I'm sure that you will have heard of them. A lot of famous artists perform at these festivals and it's better than a concert because it's a whole experience. You spend the entire day there with your friends or your family there are different events, different food stands, and it's a fun day out. It is true that it can be quite expensive. It's normally about a hundred pounds per ticket per day. So if you spend a weekend at a festival, it isn't exactly cheap, but I think it's a typical summer activity that a lot of people enjoy. My fourth favourite activity to do during the holidays is to learn a new skill or a new hobby. Every year I set myself a goal, which could be learning a new language, a new skill like painting or crafting, and it is a good way to not be bored during the summer. Sometimes when it's a rainy day or you don't feel too motivated, you might feel bored, so it's good to have an activity that you can do and then at the end of the summer 
you can look at how much you have improved in those two months. In fifth place, we have having a barbecue. I enjoy inviting my friends and family over to my house to have a barbecue in the garden. We prepare delicious food, play games outdoors and enjoy time together. In England, barbecues are quite popular but some years we can't do many barbecues because it is too rainy. But normally in July and August, there are a few days that are great for getting together and having a barbecue together. Another thing that I like to do in my summer holidays is to practice sport. During the year, I don't normally have a lot of time to practice sport, so I make the most of the time that I have in the summer and the daylight hours, because in England it gets dark at about 10 o'clock at night to practice sport that I don't practice throughout the year. These are normally aquatic sports because I can't really practice them in the months of November, December or January when it's very cold or sports that are quite time-consuming, like going for a run. In my day-to-day -day life, I don't usually have enough time to go for a one-hour run, so it's a great opportunity to stay fit. Another thing that I like to do when I'm on holiday in the summer is visiting museums and cultural sites. I think that summer holidays are a great time to learn about history and culture. Even though we are on holiday, it doesn't mean that we don't have to learn anything. I like going to museums and cultural sites, especially when I am visiting a different city or a different country. In eighth place, we have going on a road trip. This isn't at the top of my list because normally I prefer travelling by plane because I'm quite impatient when I'm on a road trip and I think that travelling by car is quite uncomfortable when you have been driving for six or seven hours, especially when it is you who is driving. So although it can be uncomfortable, Going on a road trip is a great way to explore new destinations and you can stop at interesting landmarks and visit many different places on the way. I do recommend planning the route before the travel, so in advance so that you know where you are going to stay each night. I would love to have a van or a motorhome and then we wouldn't have that problem. You could just sleep anywhere inside the van or the motorhome. And it would be cheaper because you wouldn't have to book so many hotels. In ninth place, 
we have volunteering for an animal shelter. I love volunteering in my local community, especially for animal shelters. In the summer, a lot of people and a lot of volunteers go on holiday abroad, so shelters really need some extra hands to help them. My favourite activity to do at the shelter is to take the dogs for walks. Dogs need to be taken on their walks once a day, so it is really great help for the shelters if you go and volunteer. And finally, in 10th place, another activity that I like doing in the summer is reading. I love to go to a charity shop and buy some books that I'm going to read that summer. I usually choose romance books for the summer, not crime novels because they are nice to read when you are on holiday at the beach or at the pool and you can read them for 10 minutes and put them down and it's not a difficult storyline to follow. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.